So, you've decided you want to go into computer science. The field pays well, jobs are in high demand, computers are cool. All three of those things are true, but there's a little bit more to the story. So stick around to find out if computer science is right for you. The first thing I want to do is clear up some misconceptions about what it's like to be a programmer. And I think the best way to do this is with a visual example. What do you mean you still want to clear an identifier of some numbers? It's literally right there. It is literally... No, it's not. It's not... Mm -hmm. Basically, in the beginning especially, you're going to be writing simple programs looking for small mistakes, spending hours debugging, driving yourself crazy. It's totally normal. It happens to everyone. Don't panic. The next point I want to talk about is the importance of understanding your motivation for getting into the field. But bluntly, are you doing it because you're interested in it or are you doing it because there's lots of exciting sounding, high paying jobs? <gasps> Here's the way I put this to anyone who ever asks me. The people who typically get the exciting, high paying jobs are generally the people who are passionate about computer science. This is because these are the type of people who generally want to go the extra mile so that they really know their stuff. Realistically, if you're someone who's not that into computers and computer science now, you're not gonna take the time over the next four years to master your craft, and that's gonna make a big difference in the job market. Point number three. What exactly do you think it is that computer science majors do when they get out in the workplace? The answer is that there is no single specific thing but the reality for me, and probably for a lot of other people, is that I had no idea what the field was like when I started college. You'll likely do some software development, which will involve coding, but also debugging, source control, task management, team meetings. Integration and test, and a whole bunch of other things. At most jobs, you're not just going to sit there and write code for 8 hours a day. There's a lot of aspects to the job that are typically overlooked that are really crucial though in making efficient and clean solutions. The fourth thing I want to do is narrow in a bit on the software developer role and exactly what kind of person fits in it. Sometimes it feels like a lot of people think that software developers sit alone in their cubicle, coding for eight hours a day, not talking to anyone. We don't. Done well, software development is generally collaborative. Uh, people exchange ideas, they discuss the scope of the project, and they make plans so that they can work together effectively. I know it's not generally labeled as a uh, creative profession, but a lot of the problems that you're going to face as a software developer are unique. They're unique problems, and as a result, you're going to need a unique solution. You're going to have to think of the best way to solve that problem. For example, your boss isn't going to tell you, Kyle, Implement a map in C++ to associate a person's unique identifier with their email address. More likely, your boss is probably going to say something like, Make sure you keep track of everyone's email addresses. And then you're just going to figure out the best way to do that, depending on your needs. The final thing is that you should be excited to do development, and you should be excited to learn about new technologies, languages, and development styles. I mentioned in my day in the life video at Georgia Tech that every day I try to do about a half hour of C++ reading, and honestly, I would love to do even more. I'm in the process of reworking my schedule, and I'd like to integrate my own development into every single day. I know there's a lot of people who don't ever want to pick up a textbook or a code unless it's for a class, but I really feel that if you're someone who's going to excel in the field, you're going to want to do that. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit that thumbs up button. I really appreciate it. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe for more videos about computer science, Georgia Tech, and college, and some other stuff. That's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.